wake up in the morning, your thoughts are running wild. Breathe deep, relax your mind. Another boozy. So we have the this guy? Okay. Yeah, 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 I see. Thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, the spit. Oh, yeah, the spit.
I am filming this clip a year after that Comic-Con. Um, I just got back from Friday's 2023 Comic-Con. Um, but I'm going to do a haul of everything that I got last year at Comic-Con um, because I never got around to doing that. And now here we are. I am still in my costume from 2023 Comic-Con, so you guys are getting a tiny little sneak peek. But um, yeah, so let me just get through this. Okay, so first we have the clothes I got. Um, I'll start with the exciting stuff. So my perhaps favorite piece that I got at Comic-Con is this amazing Astro Boy jacket from Atsuko. On the sleeve, there is this patch detail on the front. They have this logo plus some text. And then I also really love this detail on the left sleeve. It has an orange tag with Astro Boy and BB Sama. Oh, oh, sorry. This is from BB Sama, not Atsuko, sorry. Inside lining, there is Astro Boy, which I love this little detail that like most people won't even see, but like it's there, so it's kind of cool. And of course, this logo patch is also Astro Boy. Then this piece I got from Atsuko, and it's a very cool piece, but it's definitely a statement piece, so I actually don't wear it very often. Um, I think I've only worn it like maybe twice in this entire year since I've gotten it, but it has the main crew members, or some of the first crew members, and I shouldn't say they're the main, but some of the first crew members on the front. Um, it has a nice patchwork design. And then Comic-Con, they have several of these like large tower t-shirts, or no, t-shirt towers so they're basically just huge like boots of t-shirts graphic tees um and so i got this one of l from death note i love this shirt um it's super comfy very soft and 
And then the last three t-shirts that I got were part of a mystery pack of t-shirts from Turtle Tea or something. Like they're the brand that's behind um that's behind games like Exploding Kittens, Happy Little Dinosaurs, stuff like that. So it was just three random tees. If I can find a picture of them, I'll put it up on screen right now. And then next we have like figurine type things. I did not get a lot of figurines because at that point I wasn't really into that type of stuff and I'm still not, but um, I do enjoy them more now than I did like a year ago. Um, so I just got some random stuff. First up is this mystery box of Hunter x Hunter or Hunter Hunter. Um, and I was really, really hoping for Hisuka or Krolo. And I would have been fine with the other designs too. The one that I didn't really want was Gon. And guess which one I got. <laughs> so yeah, I got Gon. I mean, he's still cute. But it's of Gon in like episode one, I think, where he's fishing. Um, and I've put off assembling this for an entire year just so I could film this video and I ne just never got around to filming it. But yeah, this is Gon. Then I got a keychain blind bag of um, Hunter x Hunter and I was really really hoping for Hisuka and this time I got lucky and I pulled Hisuka. He's so cute. Oh my god. And the last thing I got, I think this was actually like one of the very first things I bought at Comic-Con. I just happened to see it, but it is this like little building block set of Snorlax. And I got this because I went as Snorlax last year. So I decided to get Snorlax to commemorate my first ever Comic-Con experience. So next we're going to go into books, which there's only two that I got from the showroom, but then I'm gonna segue into Artist Alley because I got tons of books and zines from Artist Alley. So from the showroom floor, I just got these two. Um, first we have this, The Last House on Needless Street. And I did read this already. It was pretty good. It's like a, thriller type of book and then there is this graphic novel bloom and i have not read this yet but i am super excited to read this and i got this because of the beautiful artwork okay so now transitioning into artist alley um i got so much stuff at artist alley i went crazy so like these are all of the books and zines that I got. And then I have a bunch of like other miscellaneous little things here from Artist Alley. So we're just going to go in order of my pile, I guess. Um, so first up we have this little sketchbook. Do I need more sketchbooks? No, but is this the cutest thing ever? Yes, so I had to get it. And then here, I got a little zine called Angel Boy by Jacoby Sal Salcedo. Um, but he made this little doodle and he signed it for me, which is so cool. Um, and then next is this little zine called Departure by Jamie Brody. And again, I got it because I like the cover. <laughs> I have no idea what it's um, and then on the inside cover, they have all these mushrooms. It's so cute. And it is dedicated to the Appalachian Trail and the friends made along the way. So I'm assuming it's gonna be like a little hiking type of story. Full disclosure, I have not read any of the zines that I've gotten because they've just been sitting there waiting for me to make this haul. Um, okay. I turned on the light, so hopefully the lighting's a little better. It's weird because the sun is in the process of setting right now. Um, but anyway, 
Next up, we have another zine by Jamie Brody called The Archive. And I'm just so attracted to their art style and their color palette. And like, just, just look at this end page. Isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous. Or the first page. Um, okay, so this next artist, Natalie Anderson. Some of you might have heard of her, but when I saw her at Comic-Con, I literally gasped. I was not expecting to see her. Um, but I got her book, The Nutcracker and The Mouse King. But it's so cute. I love her art style so much. Like, I'm just flipping to a random page. But it's so whimsical, so cute. The way she draws character expressions and like the way she lays out her pages, the color she uses, just everything about her work is so gorgeous. Okay, next up we have this book called Beastlands Keepers of the Kingdom. And based on the cover, this is not usually the type of graphic novel that I would be attracted to, but when I started flipping through the pages, like, look at this. That's so gorgeous. It's beautiful. Another random page, like, the artwork in here is just so beautiful that I was sold on it. I had to get it. Next, there's these two zines, I think, or comics, I think zines, from David Chun Hamling. Um, it's called Monkey and Peach. I guess these are comics, maybe, but I bought the two and it came with a few free stickers and I believe they also signed it for me. So, so you can see this is this one and you can see this is one of the last pages, but isn't it beautiful? This is the first page. And then this one, I love this one. It's got gold foiling. So it's so stunning. And on the back too, like, oh my God. And then here, just you can flip to any random page and there is gorgeous, gorgeous out artwork. Nick gave me a business card. Plus this free logo sticker and also this beautiful, beautiful sticker. Next, I got this book called The Autumn, called The Autumn Fairies by Gabriel Patrick. Um, and he was just such a sweet guy. And again, wonderful, wonderful use of color. I love the characterization of his characters. Um, his, his style, I was very attracted to his style of drawing characters, so I got this. Next, I got these two books from like the sketches and artworks of an artist called Naomi Vanderin, and you can, you might, well, okay, the lighting's terrible, but you might be able to tell from the covers that her use of color and light is so stunning. Like all of her pieces just have a very airy feeling to them. I, th I don't know how to better describe it, but like literally I'm just flipping to a random page. Let's flip to another random page. How stunning is that? The way she creates or portrays worlds in her artwork is something that I was very attracted to. So I had to get these books. And then the last book that I got is this picture book called Ninentel of the Forgotten Spirits by Vera Green Tea and Laura Mueller. And again, 
Look at the beautiful artwork. And this also came with a little bookmark. And it says, this bookmark belongs to a witch. Next, we're gonna go into my little bag of random knickknack things. And some of these I bought, and some of these are just like business cards or things I got for free, so. I guess first up we have these two lanyards. Um, this is like some random free lanyard I got from Webtoons. I don't really read Webtoons, so I don't know what any of these stories or characters are, but cool free lanyard. And then this one I just thought looks super cute. It's Cats with Boba Tea. And I believe this is from the same artist as the lanyard, but I got um, some postcards, a sticker, it looks, no, I think the sticker is free. But I got some other miscellaneous stationary pieces. So there is this Halloween witch memo pad. It's very thin, so there's not many sheets, but it's still very, very cute. This adorable little print of Pikachu. This is their business card. And on the back too. And this, I think this was free, I want to say. But it's a cat playing the Nintendo Switch with Boba. Next, I got this cute skeleton washi. I was very surprised. There were very few people selling washi tapes, and I love washi tapes, so I was actually very excited to go to Arlis Alley and see washi tapes, but this was one of the very few washi tapes that I saw being sold. Um, but yeah, it's basically got skeleton designs. It's very cute. And this is from the same artist that did the sketchbook, the first thing that I showed. And then this bookmark, I'm going randomly by it right now, by the way. Um, this bookmark is from the same artist, Gabriel, um, that I got the book from. And then I got these three memo pads. I think these were from the same artist, but here we have Kiki's Delivery Service. Um, this is a to-do list, and this is a weekly to-do list. Next up are a bunch of stickers. So we have Ravenclaw because that is my house. This is, I think this is also from Gabriel. Three stickers from Atsuko for buying from them. We have all of these business cards. So first one is Atsuko. Next. And yep, that is everything that I got from Comic-Con. I think I hit everything. There might have been one or two things that I left out just because it's been a year, but I hit all the major points, I think. So yeah, um, closing thoughts. I had a fantastic time at Comic-Con. Um, it was a little bit overwhelming when I first got in and there were just like so many things to do. Um, I also didn't realize that Artist Alley was gonna be so big and expansive. And so I spent more money in the showroom than I meant to um, because we went there first. If I had known that I would have gone to Artist Alley first probably, spent 
as much money as I wanted and then gone to the showroom and just bought a few things here and there. Obviously though, overall I had a wonderful time because surprise, I came, I decided to go again. <laughs> and I am going to two days of Comic-Con this year instead of just one. So yeah. Bye. Thanks for watching.